Yo, what's up everyone? It's your boy Crisp Purpose back to the again with another Gems of War World Event Team video for you guys. Now in this one, we're going to be taking a look at this new world event, the Ghost Busting World Event at a team as well as we're going to be taking a look first off at the scoring. So the scoring for this event, we're going to be going up against fights like the Grey King, King Bloodhammer, the Ghost Queen, Morthanize Will, Captain Skullbeard, and Spectral Colossus. Now, the Grey King battle is going to be providing you with 8 remnants for each fight. Then, King Bloodhammer with 5 remnants, along with the Ghost Queen with 5 remnants as well. Then, Morthanai's Will with 4 remnants, Captain Skullbeard as well with 4 remnants, and then the Spectral Colossus with 3 remnants. So, you always want to take your Grey King fights... And then, if no Great King fights are there, take your King Bloodhammer fights and your Ghost Queen fights. If you can't see any of those, definitely go for your Morthanized Will or your Captain Skullbeard. You want to make sure Spectral Colossus is your last choice. Unless you see no other fights, then you go for that one. And that's how you're going to run down this world event. Now, let's take a look at the team. So, as you guys can see right now, I have the Ghost Queen and Morthanized Will. So, we're going to be going for the Ghost Queen. Right, so this is going to be the team. Up front on the team, we're having Norbert's Turnip. Norbert's Turnip is an amazing weapon. And before we had the Elementalist class, and before troops like, for example, Ulur, this on a pure goblin team would run a muck in PvP and Guild Wars. Man, it was a menace to see a goblin team um, anytime you jumped into PvP or Guild Wars, man, it used to be murderous. Norbert's Turnip is a dagger weapon from Zajin, so you guys are going to be able to pick up this weapon this week. Do not leave without it. It's a very good weapon. The main reason why it's so good is because of the final upgrade on the weapon. It has quick, so it will gain an extra turn. So if, you, if there are any new players in here that don't have this weapon, go and get it. And along with that, Norbert's Turnip deals damage to an enemy, boosted by goblin allies, then it will create 6 green gems and red gems for each goblin ally. I'm using it here along with the elementalist hero class, right? Because it doesn't matter what class you're using, you just need to get that extra turn and you know, the weapon has it in the weapon upgrade. So on elementalist, I have snap free set, I also have insulated, stone circle, storms, aura, rock solid, lightning strike, and of course fortitude. And because I bought up a couple things in the shop, I have the Potion of Enchantment, the Potion of Explosion, the Potion of Rejuvenation, the Potion of Armor, and the Potion of Blessing. And you guys can see as well, I have my Medal of Crypts attached. That's 160% spell and skull damage to all troops in this event. And I have two badges of Crypt, so I'm getting an additional 80% skull and spell damage from those medals and badges respectively so king gob truffle is going to be on this team as well and this is one of the reasons why this world event is going to be one of the easiest ones right because this troop is an underworld legendary troop from the faction that is a manathrax which is associated with zayjin so if you guys want to pick this up and you're a newer player on the world toss some chaos shards at the portal you're going to pick up king gob truffle right elemental goblin 18 mana cost i think this was lower before and they nerf the sucker. Um, he will deal damage to all enemies and then create green gems and brown gems boosted by poisoned and dis diseased enemies. Extra turn for him as well. And he has that final trait in which he will disease a random enemy when matching four or more gems. Fundingus is going to be here, here on the team as well as an additional mana generating option um, with his purple spores spell, exploding purple gems and summoning in a giant toadstool or an explode stool extra turn for him as well and then string fiddler is going to be at the back of the team why is he here for the song of nature right he will summon a leaf storm at the start of battle that's going to allow my gob truffle to get spell ready very quick and i can just completely smack down that enemy team let's take a look at the banner here the banner here is the hunting pack banner um this is a plus two on green plus one on brown then we're minusing yellow you know on the Weapon uses yellow, and once Fiddler gets spell ready or any of the other troops, you know, it's going to be over for the enemy team. All right, so let's hop into this fight. Let's see if we can kill out the Ghost Queen real quick. All right, there we go. We have a Vile Raven. That's not bad. All right, I actually recorded this video, you know, earlier, and uh, man, completely 
um, completely messed up something when it comes on to the scoring. So I was like, man, let's let's redo this, right? Let's redo this and not worry about it. Do I still have my medals attached? Yes, I do. I was kind of scared there. All right, let's hop into another fight. All right, let's go up against the Ghost Queen again. And let's see if this fight's going to be even quicker. Because sometimes when you get a nice explosion from the board, your troops really get spelled really quickly. And we did not get that beautiful expo. Oh, because we have a purple storm. Who's creating the purple storm over here? Is it this troop? Oh, yeah, it is. There we go. Big boy damage right there. Um, ensure that you guys get those metals. And remember to attach them. Because sometimes I, I've seen that I've jumped into battle. And I don't have those metals attached. And yeah, it. It becomes an extremely long fight. But either way, it shouldn't be a problem, right? Here we go. We have Skulls galore. Enemy troop can do nothing but just simply die. <laughs> there we go, man. That was a really quick one. All right. That is it. We got five remnants from that one. There we go. We have a ghost. We have the, the Great King. I, I In the previous video as well, I said the Ghost King. And I'm like, what? Who are you talking about? Who is this troop that's called the Ghost King? All right, it's the Grey King, man. Get it correct. Wow. Let's get into this fight. Let's kill out the Grey King. All right. Um, and what are we doing here? All right, let's match this over there. It should be spell ready on the next turn. Bang. Yeah, nobody should have a problem once they have this weapon and the troops in this world event this should be very very easy right if you guys are having problems as well you can definitely put on a mythic troop like for example flaming only is going to be available if you guys have it you can use it i'm not using any of those options at the start at the early aspects of this fight i'm just going with you know the no mythic options right easiest possible fights um that i can do with troops that are easily acquired. All right, let's see if I can uh, get my troop spell ready here. They're going to be converting gems. No worries, we're still going to be killing them. There we go. See what I'm talking about? The looping right here. This is... this is. <laughs> you cannot lose. You cannot lose with these teams. All right, so I'm going to be running down about one or two more fights. And I'm going to bounce, man. And I want to ask you guys as well. Which troop from this kingdom is the most powerful right some persons might say it's very obvious which 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 troop is the most powerful i really want to hear from you guys which which zajin troop is the most powerful right yeah let, let me know man drop in the comment section let me hear your opinions who's the who's the big daddy in this kingdom all right we got a skull storm from from who <laughs> who created that all right, so that is it for the team, man. Hopefully you guys find this team helpful and this video very informative. But let's take a look at it again. Norbert's turnip at, Norbert's turnip at the top of the team. Dealing damage boosted by goblin allies with the elementalist class because we can stun, freeze, and entangle and burn enemy troops. That's always good. Um, King Gob Truffle is our main damage dealer, followed by Fundingus and then uh, String Fiddler. If you guys and gals found this video helpful and informative, remember to smash the like button and comment to let me know what comment and let me know what you guys think about this and share the video. Share it with your guild. Anybody else you know plays Gems of War, tell them to come on over and check out the Guild Wars teams. If we ever get back Guild Wars once again, the PvP teams, the world event teams, and any other teams on the channel. Alright guys, catch y'all next one. Peace. Yeah.